Hello again party people, and welcome back once again. In this video, I will prove that Cassinger did not know Chris was married at first, and that Cassinger did not say Jim was at the sand dunes with her and Chris. Why this even still has to be explained over five years after the fact is beyond me, but here we go. Chris said he met Kessinger on June 1st, 2018, but he actually met her on June 5th. So it was probably around probably June 1st or something. That's when I first met her. Chris and Kessinger admit they met when Anna Darko was having some sort of equipment issue regarding the gas sensors. This occurred on June 5th. And uh, it was just like a work conversation that she messed with the gas meters that, you know, we were out in the field and I was messing up and then, you know, I took it to her like, hey, you know, what's going on with this? Like, I don't fix it, and, you know. Then Chris bumped into Kessinger a few times at work and Chris began hustling Kessinger. That, you know, we just ran into each other a few times in the office. <laughs> Kessinger said Chris was not wearing a wedding ring. I think I met him sometime in June, probably early June. It might have been May. It was just talking at work. It was pretty casual. Um, and uh, he didn't have a wedding ring on his finger. And Chris admits he wasn't wearing his wedding ring because he lost so much weight that the ring was too big for his finger. I don't wear, I didn't wear a ring at work because I got some off so I get refitted when I lost all that weight, so, but, um. You lost so much weight that your fingers lost weight? Yeah, it was literally like, I was out in the snow one time, I went like that, and my ring went off on the rocks. Chris said that by the fourth meeting at work, he showed Kessinger pictures of his kids, and probably his wife. And I think it was probably the fourth time meeting, um, she had asked me, because like, when I, we were talking back and forth, I would say, uh, you know, like, we moved here from Colorado, or from North Carolina, stuff like that. And then uh, she's like, what's all this weed stuff? Like, you know, I took out my phone and showed her a picture. Like, you know, my girl's on the phone. It's like, oh, okay. And Kessinger acknowledged in her June 12 email to Chris that he had a wife. So there you go. How simple is that? Kessinger did not know on day one that Chris had a wife, just like she told the truth about. Kessinger admits that she found out later on that Chris had a wife, just like Kessinger mentions in her June 12th email. Chris admits Kessinger knew that he had a wife on their fourth meeting at work after Chris showed Kessinger pictures of Shannon and the kids. What did she know about you? Did she know you're married first? She did once I showed her the pictures. End of fucking story, party people. Hero Nicole Kessinger told the truth, and Tammy Lee is a liar. So she knew I was married, my kids. Okay. Are you aware that she said she didn't know you were married? Yeah, what did you think about that? He mentioned that he did have a significant other, and then he told me that those two were in the process of a separation. Never trust a cop party people or a fake crime channel. Now, at no time did Kessinger say Jim was at the sand dunes with her and Chris. Cop Kevin asked Kessinger about a photo of a guy with a beard on Kessinger's phone that did not look like Chris. Kessinger said the heavy set guy was Jim and that Jim was the guy who was at Kessinger's house on Monday, August 13th, and on Tuesday, August 14th, just like she told cop Kevin in her police interview. Now how in the fuck could anyone confuse this for Kessinger saying Jim was at the sand dunes with her and Chris? It's just unreal how dumb the fake crime channels are. Let me ask you this. There was um, some attachments that 
um, when I was looking at some of your phone stuff today, although very limited, there's a, a man with a backpack. Um, he's got a beard. He, he does not look like Chris to me in, in your photos. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, is he like a little heavier set? Yeah, I'd say he's a little bit bigger. Yes, that is my friend Jim. That is the one that I was with on the Monday and Tuesday of last week. Okay. There so there you have it, party people. Kessinger never said Jim was at the Sand Dunes. Now I will play the entire Sand Dunes conversation in full, so everyone can see that Kessinger never once said Jim was at the Sand Dunes with Kessinger and Chris. The weekend of July 28th, um, I think through the 29th, um, we went to the sand dunes. We went to the great sand dunes national park. Down in uh, Alamosa? Yes. July 28th, 29th. Did you guys stay anywhere? 20th. What did you say? I'm sorry. Where, did, where did you say? Oh, we camped. Okay. I don't remember the name of the campsite. Let me ask you this. There was um, some attachments that, um, when I was looking at some of your phone stuff today, although very limited, there's a, a man with a backpack. Um, he's got a beard. He, he does not look like Chris to me in, in your photos. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, is he like a little heavier set? Yeah, I'd say he's a little bit bigger. Yes, that is my friend Jim. That is the one that I was with on the Monday and Tuesday of last week. Okay. There is some photographs. You mentioned the museum, the car museum. <clears throat> I think I remember seeing a couple photos of, of cars, and it didn't strike me as anything then. Um, so there may be a little bit more on your phone than what I think. Uh, but there is definitely no photos of Chris, and I don't remember seeing um, any pictures of the sand dunes. Saturday, we got there, we set up camp, and then after we set up camp, we went to the national park. It was super windy. Oh my God, the sand hurt so bad. I was, and that, it was, it started raining. Um, and we stayed, we stayed even though the weather was bad because there was like nobody up there. Um, and so we did that for most of the afternoon. And then um, we came back to the campsite and I showed him how to light a fire because he'd never done it before. Um, he'd never lit a fire. Lit a, no, he's never been camping before. He told me he'd never been camping before. And I was like, well, if you want to go, I'm trying to go to sand dunes. So that's why we went, because he said he'd never done it. On that road that you take to get to the dunes. And it's like, it's almost like a little gas station. And we stopped there, and we rented a sandboard um, to go sandboarding on. And um, we got, I think we got more ice for the cooler, I think. And we got firewood. For so it's like a gas station? Kind of, but it's like the one-stop shop that everybody goes to because there's like nothing else around there. Right. It's right before you get to yeah. the entrance to the the park. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. On the right-hand side when you're driving in. Um, I'm glad that you know what I'm talking about. Well, I worked uh, um, I worked in Southern Colorado for the last five years, and I spent a lot of time around Alamosa and in the San Luis Valley. Oh, so I know gotcha. I know a lot of about that area, unfortunately. So you you got ice oh. um, and uh, firewood? Yeah, and I, I'm not sure if we got ice. I think we did just because I like to re up on ice who, every who time. Who paid I go for camping. it? He did. Okay, did you think he used what? the debit or the um, gift card again? Probably, because that was the plan in the first place. He was just like, well, hey, I've got these gift cards. If you want to use them, you don't even have to spend any money, and we can just use these. And I was like, well, that's great. So I remember for the trip, I filled up my gas tank and I paid for gas and I bought a little bit of groceries uh, for the cooler. And then um, he took care of like the campsite and the board and the firewood and all of that. I got in line for the board. I remember that. But their, their like little board rental shop is like outside of the building. Okay. Or he went inside because he went and got firewood. I'm just and looking at your up. dates so you know you're right. The Bandamere Speedway, the Mile High Nationals, was July 21st. 
Yeah, so, that's what I was going to say. Yep. Get online and see if that matches. Yep. And then we went back to the campsite, and we lit a fire, and we ate. And we just hung out by the fire for a few hours and just visited. And then it started raining really hard. So we put everything in the tent and put out the fire, and we went in the tent. And I remember he was, like, wide awake, and I was so tired, like, Oh my God, I wanted to sleep so bad and he just like would not sleep and it was kind of bugging me like I would I think I would I would like almost like wake up and like half subconsciously like have a conversation with him for a sec and then like doze back off and I just remember being so tired and he was up probably for a while okay and, and then, so you guys come back to the Denver metro area on Sunday kind of yeah, but we, so we went, um, one of my friends wanted us to go to the Renaissance Festival, and she didn't know who I was with, but she was with, like, at the Renaissance Festival in Colorado Springs, and she was like, oh, you should stop by, and I made up an excuse to not go over there. I just told her, I was like, yeah, I don't really know, you know, and I, like, kind of got out of it because I didn't want her to meet him. Thanks for watching. Now watch this beat down. And I'll see you in my next worldwide award winning fake crime channel beat down.